Greetings, greetings. In the name of Jesus, I'm happy to be able to meet you again on this platform. We want to thank God that uh, technology has allowed us to interact in such a manner. We have had 10 previous lessons, 10 previous devotional thoughts, 10 previous messages that we have shared. And this is the 11th message and we want to thank God that you can be here to listen to the word of God. Let's pray. Oh dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much for allowing us to have this opportunity to share the word. I pray that you may bless me and bless this brother, bless this sister as they listen to your word. And may they never be the same again. May they become a better people because they have not only listened to your word, but they have acted according to your word. It is in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We also want to thank you for your feedback, that you don't just listen, but you also send a message back appreciating what you're hearing and asking questions where necessary and also sharing with others to know that somebody else will become a better person because you shared this message is a great blessing and we pray that may the Lord bless you so much. The message I would like to share with you today, friends, is titled, People Say... But what do you say? People say, but what do you say? People say, but what do you say? That's the message today. People say, but what do you say? People say, but what do you say? Matthew chapter 16, verse 13 to 15. The Bible says, that when Jesus came into the coasts of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, saying, Whom do men say that I, the Son of Man, am? Who do people say I am? Jesus asked them. Verse 14, And they answered him and said, Some say you are John the Baptist. Others say you are Elijah the prophet. And others say, you are Jeremiah the prophet. And others say, you are one of the prophets. Verse 15. Matthew chapter 16, verse 15. And Jesus said unto them, But who do you say I am? But who do you say I am? My brothers and my sisters, people say, but what do you say? Jesus asked the disciples, what is the opinion out there about me? And what do you say about that opinion? What is your opinion? There is what people say and there is what you say. And of course, when they gave their answer, Jesus approved their answer. You see, my brothers and sisters, there is what is said and there is what is true. There is what people say and there is what it is. People say, but what do you say? Are you for what people say or are you for what is true? Are you for what people say or are you for what is true? That is the question. Because there is what people say and it influences a lot because so many people are saying but there is what you know is true from Bible study. You know is true from your upbringing. You know is true from your, what your parents say. There is what people say and there is what you say. Your parents have told you, you should not drink alcohol. You should not smoke. You should not abuse drugs. But you meet friends who encourage you to do that. And it seems everybody in school is drinking. It seems everybody is smoking. It seems everybody is sleeping around and having illicit sex. But that is what people say. But what do you say? There is what people say and there is what you say. People say, but what do you say? There is what people say. But what do you say? People say that it is okay to cheat 
in marriage. It is okay to cheat in relationship. But I'm asking you, if that is what people say, what do you say? People say, but what do you say? The message today is people say, but what do you say? People say that you can be, you can, they, that domestic violence is good in maintaining law and order in the family. Fighting, husband and wife fighting. That's what people say. Those people may even be elders of the community. That is what people say. But what do you say? There is what people say and there is what you say. And in the case where Jesus gave this message in Matthew chapter 16 verse 13 to 15, what people are saying was wrong. And what the disciples was, were saying was right. Would you stick with what people say and is wrong or what you know is the truth and stand for it? For you to be loved, you don't have to engage in sex. You don't need to get a job by sleeping around with the people who promise jobs and may not deliver to get promotion. That's what people say. But what do you say? People say, but what do you say? You see, friends, many dreams are killed because we are concerned with what people say. We need to know that there is what people say and there is what is the truth. People say, but what do you say? In March 7, March 7, take note of this date, March 7, A.D. 321, the year 321, March 7, Constantine declared that Sunday will become a day of rest. Until that day, people used to worship on Saturday everyone who called himself a Christian. And all the pagans of Rome used to worship the sun on Sunday. You know, these English names of the week are borrowed from the, the, the gods. You know, the sun god, Monday, Tuesday. These are gods. And so, on March 7, 321 AD, Constantine started what we now know as weekend. He said on Saturday, Christians can go to church. But on Sunday, Everybody should remain resting because the pagan Romans are still going for their worship. And so weekend was born, which is made of Saturday and Sunday. A.D. 321, March 7. A few years later, in A.D. 336, A.D. 336, the prominent church of that time, the Roman Catholic Church, met in a meeting called the Council of Laodicea. And in that Council of Laodicea, they declared that even though the Saturday, the Bible teaches that Saturday is the day of worship, they will change the day of worship from Saturday to Sunday. And they made that declaration and voted in the Council of Laodicea in A.D. 336. And from there on, Sunday became a day of worship for the main religion, the major denomination that had so many people following. Now for over 1,000. 700 years. 1,000. You know, those are so many years. People have consistently gone to church, a majority of them, on Sunday. And now people say that the day of worship is Sunday out of a tradition of over 1,500 years. That is what people say. But what do you say? Because the Bible has not changed. The Council of Laodicea made changes. Constantine made changes, but God did not make the change. The Bible did not make the change. Saturday remains the day of worship. So there is what people say, and there is what the Bible says. People say, but what do you say? People say, but what do you say? People say that you are supposed to enjoy life and live the way you feel. And if you die, you die. But God expects us to live a careful life, a quality life. There is what people say and there is what the Bible says. People say, but what do you say? 
I want to challenge you, my friends, today, that as we continue with the life that God has given us, we must remember there is what people say, very popular and very common all over the place, but there is what God says. There is what we need to say from Scripture. It is better to be in the minority that are faithful to God than in the majority that are defiant of God. There is what people say, and there is what you say, and there is the truth. People say, but what do you say? Let's pray. Father in heaven, thank you so much for enabling us to listen to your word. Bless us. Save us from being slaves of what people say. And let us be faithful to what you say, even if we are the only ones remaining standing in the whole world. Let us be faithful to the truth and not to what people say. May we be reminded that while people are saying, we also need to say something. And that something must be in line with the truth. Help us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. People say, but what do you say?